Hey, V. Just wanted to tell you. I really hope there is an afterlife. Wanna know why? Hmm? Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Hey, V. How are things? Hello, V. How are things? Hey, V. It's Pan Am. Remember me? The one with the car? Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. And after everything I did for you. Everything! And what's the first thing you go do, huh? Off yourself, that's what. If there is a hell, I hope you're in it. Rotting. Burning. All of it. Bye. Just wanted to say, uh... I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah. You're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, V? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, V. What were you thinking, huh? Or did you think about nothing at all? Is that it? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. And when I do, I'm gonna rip V out of your head. Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite! A fucking tapeworm! You hear me? Because that means one day we'll see each other again. And I'm gonna make you wish you never met me. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing. Work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, um, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Enjoy the little time you have left. And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not going to last long. I'm serious. Rogue told me you're the one to talk to. Sixth Street. Why? I've dealt with Sixth Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. We have to pick all of them off now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've arrived. Okay. We have arrived. I know. Truly? I never would have guessed. I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. So we've something in common after all. No. The sneak forgot to show me his shiv card. Until now they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. Fuck, V. Turn on the goddamn power. Safe, most importantly. And close by. The Raffins will roll in after dusk, right? We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. So we plug it back in. Let's check the substation. But I'm not part of it anymore. The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Let's get into position.
You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Not to worry! Come down! I know how to surprise the bastards! Yep, first we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Right, so, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Ugh, I'm starting to feel that stress go away. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. I'll go catch a few winks. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all settled then. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. And done. Now the Black Rattler. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Well, have you found anything? Well, we'll make it work. Let's check the substation. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. We can go. Hop in. Are you ready? Hmm. Is that so? Ah, rogue and confidentiality. I might have known. A hop and skip away. Are you joking? Tell me you are, please. What are you waiting for? Let's get into position. So you're V. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. You mean to irritate me. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. That is the plan. Get in. Boz, hey. Okay, I have bought us some time. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You might say so, yes. Where's my car? Uh, hang on, I, I, I should think this through. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Great, where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? Oh, great. Fuck. Mm-hmm. So what is it you want? Where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? Good, but I'm overextended at the moment. I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. How very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. Is that so? What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? All right, that's everything. Let's go. V, take the box, please, and let's go. Will you take the box, please? Put it in the trunk. V, time's running, running, running. The box goes in the trunk. Let's go. Will you help me with this? There. First class merch. No. At least I don't think so. A partner. Nobody. We have to take out the brutes by the car. One for you, one for me. The car! Run! I'll drop this one. It's as if you've read my mind. Ugh, fine. Meet me at the city line. North side. Don't get too used to her. She's mine. See you soon. I need a drink now. Come on. You plan to stay a while? Good work. What now? A few shifts still breathe. V? What's the holdup? Do not call him that. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. He straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? We have one brief stop to make on the way. Say no more. Please. Yes, exactly. Screw you. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Is that a problem? Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. Watch your back, V! Shift bastards are coming up from behind! What, asshole? Did you really think I'd let it slide? To what's to come. Shut your fucking mouth! Hell yes. Perfect. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them, then get to my car somehow. 
Well, fuck. Great. What trouble do the two of you want to get me in now? Yes, and? Hmm. What do you want? Is that so? Well, sounds grand. But I'm busy just now and will be for some time. So tell me. Where's my car? Uh, strong word, Wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. I don't aim to. <laughs> Is that not allowed? Fuck. Rumor queen rogue your source, I take it? We have to surprise them. There she goes. But the old jalopy served us well. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Hello? V who? V where? How did you even get this number? Fuck. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Let's take them by surprise. That might have been the cherry on top. Let's pack it in. Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. At last. Listen, V, it's not over yet. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Hello, rogue. Whatever you want. I used to have to miss us some real strong, real awful coffee. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. I might have guessed. Oh, fuck no. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. Are you out of your goddamned mind? Fuck. Fuck. I don't know. I... Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? Cause I need the money. You don't know her. Not at all. Fuck the merch. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. I see you know things. No, the sneak forgot to show me a Shiv card. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Don't tell me what to do. Why you stand there all day? What do you want? Well, get in. Only when someone tries to jerk me around. Where the hell is my car? That is no concern of yours. None. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Yeah, I doubt it. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? Did you just call me a pawn? Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that Raffin. Did you know that? The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. Their leader. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. <sighs> the reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Kinda, sorta, off and on. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So, I'm off. <laughs> okay. Fuck, I don't believe this. Seriously? You won't help? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah, Panzer boys. They are on contract during the last war. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. I see. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. Grab the car shard. The driver has it. She completes me. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? You don't know squat. I shouldn't even have asked. 
Don't call him anymore. There's no need. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. Come on. Let's get a drink. Fine. Say it. What do you want? All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. Shut up. I could have gotten him. He was right there. We could have gotten him. I promised to help. I'll help. Just give me a minute, all right? You are so dumb. Mm-hmm. Just give me a minute. Fee, you're so dumb. I know. He had best be buckled in, I would say. I have an idea. But even if it works, it will still be in for a rough landing. I've been thinking about it. Besides shooting down the AV, we'll have the security detail to worry about. No. With armor like that, you need the right caliber. Not to mention mobility. The gun will be useful in other ways. They're here. Let me do the talking. Let's meet back here around midnight. Agreed? I need to sleep on this. Work it out. Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? Hello, Rogue. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? I got the merch and the car back. Sixth Street is happy. That's two shits cleaned, bitch. Which means you'll get your cut after all. Fuck. Sit, sit. Don't be shy. Will you sit? Will you drink that? Is something wrong? Thanks, Noah. I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. But if they had it, would you have done it? And I granted him my trust. Let's get this over with. Reason against gut need. An interesting take. I'd like to see for myself. You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. And did you make them pay? I don't think I'll ever play by Night City rules. Come on. Let's go get them. Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. You didn't peek? Baloperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. <sighs> the reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it yourself. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. But Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Their leader. Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Truly? Well, you don't look like a nomad to me at all. Fuck you. Well, that's, uh, comforting. And? I wouldn't mind changing the subject now. And? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Anything else. Mm-hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. You mean Mitch? Scorpion? Come on. Oh, yeah, I remember. Backer family, right? I guess I should think about it. Shit. That's comforting. No, but thanks for reminding me. V, do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. Just break the glass and dive in. Covering you. Maybe. We just need to split them up. The emergency generator. Let's check it. Watch it! Bastard's coming in from the other side! Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. You know it. Be careful who you bargain with. And? She's prime wheels, isn't she? I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. I know where their little hidey hole is. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Hey, Boz. So, everything's in order? That went well. 
No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. Fuck you, too. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Shut it, V. It doesn't matter. I'll get her back. That's why I'm here. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. A safe spot. It's not far from here. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. The panel looks to be in good shape. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Of course. The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. If things get messy, I'll start picking them off. Hello, Noah. Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Thanks for everything, partner. You've done your bit. It's time I returned the favor. We need to think hard about how to handle the AV. Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. You know it. I lost everything through you. Well, that just makes Nash a fucking coward, doesn't it? We will know soon enough. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Just what did you have in mind? I'm glad we met, too. Noah will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Sure. We can celebrate. Mm-hmm. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Whatever you want. Just come back by midnight. Noah, I'll need a room. Just for tonight. I know. Don't worry about it. I'm glad we met, too. I like to hear that. Are we all right? That was a damned tough day. But still, we pulled through. Noah, we'll take two rooms. Just for tonight. <laughs> but not today. I'm beat. It's not as if someone will send you a bill. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. Where are you? Finally. Another one over here. Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Yet you're only here because she sent you. Just listen to me, for fuck's sake. The hell you know about me? Move. I'll take the wheel. Brosif. Two of them. What Nash did. Mm, almost. Mm-hmm. Just flip the switch when I tell you to. Okay, I arranged our meeting. I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Only because I thought he would show up in Rocky Ridge. Do you really not understand that? And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just, just help me get Nash. Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. Noah, we'll take two rooms. Just for tonight. Noah, I'll need a room. Just for tonight. I won't talk about it. Are you worried about me all of a sudden? Or are you just afraid they'll come after us while we're trying to hit the AV? That is not your concern anymore, V. I will manage. I have always managed. I'm serious. You needn't be. Don't worry. I gave you my word. You'll talk to this helmet of yours. Not your concern, friend. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Well, we have something in common after all. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. Look for the girl with the mohawk. Grab the car shard. The driver has it. Look for the girl with the mohawk. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Later? When? After he hears all about the show at Rocky Ridge? If we go now, we can still take him by surprise. I gave you my word, didn't I? Please stop riding my ass about Hellman. You don't get it. This is more than just... Don't worry. I keep my word. Always. Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. Well, first I need to sort out how to down the AV with one hand while taking out security with the other. Next time, Ellie. I promise. It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. With what we want to do, we should make sure to be almost invisible. 
with what we want to do, we should make sure to be almost invisible. We'll get to work around midnight. My babysitter. Do you know what, Rogue? Go fuck yourself. You don't say. Listen, I have a plan. The cargo will be fine. Fuck. Why should I? Was talking in the car spelled out in the contract? I can't seem to recall. Mm-hmm. Wait for me in the car. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. That was our deal. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. And I will deal with my raffins later. On my own. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. I know he's there, V. That fucking raffin cheated me. I can't just let it go. I can't. V, I have to do this. Do you understand? Thanks, V. No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. What? That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside, and once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. Let's go. What do you want? Give me a minute, okay? But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. Whatever you want. I used to end up missing some real strong, real awful coffee. Just what did you have in mind? I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. Noah, we'll take two rooms. Just for tonight. Noah, I'll need a room. Just for tonight. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Get in! Hurry! Let's get out of here! Well, hold on, though. The generator. If we shut that down, we'll cut power to the drones. Why are you so surprised? Did the sun bake your brain? Unlike you, I don't bail. Especially if I've already given my word. I managed to help Mitch at the wreck. But Scorpion, we didn't make it. Open the door. I'll cover you. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? Yeah, thanks. That's your guy, right? Get him outside and toss him on a bike. Saul? Hey, that's my cue too. Until next time. It is not that simple. It's all settled then, right? You'll be back here at dark. Fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey and hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Then we'd stock up and hit the road. Crater Lake. That was his big dream. Let's follow. Find them. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. V, it's time we moved. Okay, it should come cruising by soon. Jack in. I just want to be sure the area is clear. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. Damn it all. A uh, V. Mm hmm. I should have seen that Scorpion would want. To... Mm! Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated, dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you, you look out for yourself, all right? V, what's the holdup? Open the hatch. We cannot pass that way. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. Maybe for you. But this vehicle only has basic security soft. If it's something advanced, we'll go around. Take them from the other side. It's nothing. I'm fine. Okay, it should work now. Shit! Probably jammed again. I'll fix it. Hold on tight. Going on autopilot. Well, one less thing to worry about. Ugh. Shit. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Good enough. Hey, if you'd rather daydream, please wait until we're done calibrating. Okay. Here goes nothing. I'm just checking the suspension. The hydraulics have to be ship shape. We're in for a bumpy ride. Okay, covering you. Mm-hmm, I recognize them, the clans. Hellman, he has to be here. Eyes wide open. Mm-hmm, but only two cars this time. I sure hope you get some important answers. Mm. Tell me next time, then. That's one of our, one of their rides. 
Let's check it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... They tried to put her back on her feet, but the oil pump died. Pistons couldn't take it. Saul. <sighs> Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Let him go! Let him go! Or I'll blast your fucking head off! Time to clean up around here, you bastards! And Mitch? Scorpion? Are they there? A great pity! Mitch! Wait. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Doesn't matter. I want to catch the bastards that killed my friend. But I also shook hands with you. The bikes are fine. Save your breath, V. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. Of course we can't. But we don't have to. You'll see. We do. I'll enable the masking. Their scanners are out. They're blind. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. No, not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Fucking hell, V. Those are my people out there. You see that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Okay, just one more. Longer round. Good. Next target. Single shot. Great. We're done, I think. There she is. Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Find the controls. I'll connect the detonator. Quick, V. Blast off! Bullseye! Drones! The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. They won't know what hit them. That's how you do it! They're going nowhere. Give me a moment. We got the bastard. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun, it likes to jam. We'll go by bike. We'll go by bike. <sighs> they have their drums up. Fuck! V, they've got their turrets online. It's clear they managed to reboot some systems on auxiliary power. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun, it likes to jam. Mm-hmm. The cutter is the AV. The screwdriver is where the AV should hit the ground. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. And the clamp is the satwave power station. That is, the net we use to bring the AV down. Now! The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Mitch! Stop him! You're closer! Mitch, do you hear me? Wait for me! Fucking ricochet. Sure, I'll live. Don't worry. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Fucking corporate rats. Mitch, he's alive! They have them! I see the wreck, but no scorpion or Mitch. Tell me when. <clears throat> <clears throat> the cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few Aldecaldos. Did you sleep all right? Aldecaldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. He's not reading me. Fucking interference. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them. This is all my doing. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. It's King Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. Answer, Mitch! Come on! Answer! Yes, get ready. V, you going to connect? Hop on. Mitch! I know, but I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. Like a baby on a bumpy road. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A satwave power station. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. No, the pliers. That's our solution. It's a satwave power station. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Mm-hmm. Okay. The gun is calibrated. 
You'll have system support. Just be careful with the recoil. It sometimes knocks things out of balance. You will see in a moment. How does that make you feel? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Fear not. I finish what I start. Always. Fuck yeah! Scorpion said I would hate Night City. He'll survive. Wipe them out, V! That's for my friends, you assholes! Watch out! There's a sniper behind the van! Mm-hmm. Provided we hurry. Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. Seriously? A live one? The deputy finance director of Calcaz. Dead. In the trunk. What? Are we playing 20 questions? The deputy finance director of Calcaz. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? You're on thin ice, V. Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Mm-hmm. And they're linked, which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. V, are you listening to me? V, are you listening to me? Wake up! Look here. Are you interested in hearing this? V, I thought we needed to do this quickly. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. Looks expired. Fuck it. <clears throat> Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Normally, I'd love to, but an explosion would trigger an automatic shutdown protocol in each collector. All Night City would know we were there well before we got around the protocol. Nice idea, though. Maybe next time. It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Not a bad idea. That's just... Seems we think alike. <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Elda Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? You're too much sometimes, V. Whatever it is, it'll pass. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. Fuck! Finally! Have fun! Okay, covering you. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. Mm-hmm, perfect. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mitch and Scorpion. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Are you ready to go? I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. If they thought they would call their friends, they were in for one hell of a surprise. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. Maybe. But we have to get there first. Are you all right? You fucking morons! Fuck! We jump the fence, throw the systems out of whack, and just at the right instant, hit the AV with the biggest electromagnetic pulse we can muster. Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Everything will shut down, engines included. Drive, navigation, communication systems. Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Fuck! I wonder what you would have done in my shoes. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I always keep my word. What? I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. I promise. Maybe I could help out somehow? <sighs> I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Sure. Right. 
Yeah. I mean, I think so. It is not that simple. Useful for what? To call backup? Or to shoot Mitch? They killed Scorpion, you understand? They killed my friend. You should think some more about why you wouldn't. Lecture me all you like. It changes nothing. Scorpion, Mitch, for anyone I care about, I would have done the same. Sure. V, they killed Scorpion, my best friend. What part of that do you not understand? Don't be so naive, V. They are soldiers, all of them. They follow procedure, no exceptions. No, I don't believe it. You want to drop that bastard's name? Really? He was just biding his time, waiting for the moment to shoot Mitch, then you and me. Useful? For what? Do you honestly believe he would have taken you to Hellman? That you would have traded hostages? Wake up, V. Do you really believe he broke? He was just looking for a chance to pull that trigger on us. Come on. Do you really think he would have taken you to Hellman? That you would have exchanged hostages? Agreed. Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Are you all right? It's nothing. Let's go. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? <clears throat> Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Are you sure? No, he... Get rid of those drones, V. V, either you focus or they fuck us. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. It's there, coming from Pacifica. And by the way, because I have no answer to give. Yet. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. And? Hmm. I believe I understand. I wish I could let bygones be bygones. Like you. Deal quick before they hit us! Do it better! Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. Yes, it's working, and I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. <laughs> Seized up, son of a bitch. Fucking latches! Don't want to open! I know! Just a second! What's the plan now, V? Do you see that? All lit up and blinking like a Christmas tree. Get ready. He said when I'd had enough at the city, we would get ourselves an RV. Probably better than I know myself. We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Good. Time to roll. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Scorpion said I would hate Night City. You won't get out of this alive, you bastards! We got it! They either land or crash. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? What? Who? Killed himself? That is fucked up. <laughs> Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough at the city, we would stock up on canned kibble. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit, V. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Mm-hmm. You know it. V? Hello? Well, do you have any thoughts? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The raffins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Get in, V. V, get in the car. You've got to be freezing. I should have stopped him. Enough. There's nobody here. What do you plan to do with him? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months, this went on. For the time being, at least. They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. <sighs> Their launcher will blow us to bits if we drive too close. Stubborn bastard. I could not risk the life of a friend. The one I still have left. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> I have to sit and think. About everything. <laughs> I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours.
You felt it, didn't you? The pulse. You felt the tingle, right? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. V. Yes, I suppose she was. No. We did take back one of ours from a convoy once. But this, what we're doing now, the risk is so much greater. V, if they... I still have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Go. We'll see. You're Hellman. I will find him. I don't give a damn. Saul? That was his? The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? <laughs> oh, right. Here you are. As a matter of fact, I did. Provided you don't hold a grudge about it later. We will destroy them. All of them. Do you know what? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Fuck you all! Is that him? Yes. We need to break into it. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. Mesh, Scorpion, what the hell are they doing? They probably want to help the survivors, without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering! Shit! Damn fools! They believe it's a normal transport! Those fucking idiots! Fools! They believe it's a normal transport, you understand? They believe it's a normal wreck they can just loot, then drag the spoils back to camp! Damn fools! No way! Let him go! V, listen. I have not forgotten. I will not forget. And I still believed you behaved like a complete asshole. You would better see a ripper dock after all this is over. Shit! What's happening? This is our only way to check on Mitch and Scorpion. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. But we have yet to take the AV. So you might wait before you fasten a halo on her. What, jobs like this? I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all in your own? V, this does not look good. Mm-hmm. I'm coming for you. As I said, like a fly into a spider web. What? If the bastards are still here, they must be ready for a fight. Here. I hope Mitch contacted the Alda Caldos. All that damned interference. I wager that's where they're holding Hellman. But V, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. I will destroy them. Every last one of them. Is that a problem for you? I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We will destroy them. All of them. I'm done. You hear me, V? I fuck up again. You better give me a good kick in the ass. Promise me. Fuck me. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good plan. If they're still alive. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Mitch. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Ha ha. Screw you. Careful, V. Besides, without me, you don't stand a chance. Saul? The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? Oh, right. Here you are. <sighs> mm-hmm. Get ready. And pull in everyone else after me. Mitch, Scorpion, it's Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! Hello. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. Oh no, no, no. Hell no! He's lying! Shut up! Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. What the hell happened? Fuck off. I will get both done. Oh, you have, have you? V. If they got the Alta Caldas, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't, I don't, fuck V. Shit. They believe it's a normal transport, you understand? They believe it's a normal wreck they can just loot, then drag the spoils back to camp. Don't be an idiot. This is just a scratch. Let's take out the launcher. I will try to, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Don't worry. 
I'll have eyes on it. I'll open the door. Get ready. Bullseye. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. <clears throat> but Mitch is alive, thanks to you. And I will not forget that either. Ever. Besides, I promised you we would get your Hellman. And we will. We shall see. Beautiful. I was afraid it would knock out my thorn system for good. But a little reset, she'll be right as rain. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. Triple A, it's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Connect here. I have three on radar. Yes, sir. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters, not now. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let her die? Fuck, you think I don't know that? V, finally. And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. It's settled. We had best get to work. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Just no making decisions without me. Come find us after. Go to hell. Can it, Bobby? Enjoy this well-earned moment. You deserve it. You earned this jacket. And the Aldecaldo's devotion. I never escape. Mm-hmm. Have you... Bullets don't distinguish between tough and weak. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Are you not afraid to die? I guess. I just need to get away from everything but for a minute. Oh, please. To gather my thoughts before tomorrow. Well, good thing we got ourselves a panzer to... I don't know. Give me a minute. There. Done. Shit. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Head straight for the site. Shit, there goes the main power. All systems are offline. Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. Bobby? Bobby! I'm sorry, Mitch. It's about time you didn't. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Not to worry, Saul. Work on the tunnel is ongoing. The Cirque is there, guaranteed, I think. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Saul, we're talking goddamn suicide. They'll kill you. We're in. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility? It's what being part of a family feels like. So you are where you need to be. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. Damn it, Mitch. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna... Drop those damn drones! Can you control him on the go? Teddy, did you fire up that drone? Gates down. We're going in. AV! Goddamn AV inbound! Teddy! V, any thoughts? We have arrived. Your turn, V. Earth to V! Jack in already! You take one, I'll take the other. Quietly. The scanners are definitely active. Stay sharp. That would be all of them, it looks like. They're not a threat. Let's just stay out of sight. Try the room at the back. Are you all right? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. No. Let's sit here a while longer. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. This is doing me good. More than I thought. Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. We have to lift the lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. We've got guests! They have a whole squad there. Convoy security, maybe. She's having another seizure. V, are you okay? Hey! V, you all right? 
V! Fuck. It has to be. And guess who gets to pilot? Great. Now everybody knows we've dropped in for a picnic. Fuck! Jack in and start her up. We don't have time, V. Come on! Mitch? Hurry up, Sol. They'll be here in no time. Unless you want a horde of Arasaka elites coming down on our heads. Fire up the drill, V. They have a whole unit there. Shit! I'm a bit bruised is all. I've endured worse. Besides, dying in a damned mechanical mole. How lame would that be? It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Saul, any word from Mitch? I knew it. Mm -hmm. Bypassing should override the emergency system shutdown. Lift it. I'll use my personal link if needed. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. V, let's go. Please, no more cock-ups, please. Don't worry. Give her more power. Fellas, what's the issue? Jesus Christ. Saul, he's... They're gonna... Be careful. Please. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. We got her in manual mode. Good. I'm here. Fuck! This would be it. Not far. It should be easy sledding from here. I think it- I'm here. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Goddamn power surge! A minute! Fire's under control. Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but she should be mobile. Bobby! V, get in! Great. We're hit! Fuck! We can't hold out much longer! They're tearing us to shreds! V, we've taken hard hits. Too hard. Everything here is hanging by a thread and sheer will. We're on our way. He's out of our hair. Shit, V, we might actually pull this off. How do you like that, Mella shits? Holy shit, we did it. They're smoldering wrecks. We did that. I have eyes on the fuckers. Mitch, we're moving on. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. I'm wondering if I really believed... believed we'd make it through. V, get back to the panzer. We don't have time. I got him. Direct hit. There's no thumb twiddling going on here. We'll buy you as much time as we can. Hang in there. Relax. The panzer will withstand. V? Saul? They tried to make a break for it. She turned the car into a death trap. The guard tried to evacuate them. She flatlined them all. They probably didn't even realize she had cut through their ice. A few steps is all that separates you from Mikoshi. What the hell is going on? I just hope we don't wind up being in her way somehow. Let's keep moving. I don't like the look of that exosuit. And who is that? You're getting help from an AI? Well, nothing can surprise me now. Saul told me you brought in some help from Mikoshi. Someone from the outside. And we wouldn't get into Mikoshi without her? You trust her? This alt? Why, does she do something else now? Mm-hmm. And you trust her? You're joking. Do you trust her? I trust you. That's all I'll say. Johnny, Alt, we're keeping it all in the family, I see. By extension, I trust this Alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. V, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. I can't believe it, but I think it worked. The lump of scrap still got some life in her. Systems are lighting up. We're back. You get out. Help our folks. I'm doing my best. Mitch, do you read? The navigation module is jamming the other systems. Can I cut it? Give me a minute. I can do this. We need the Panzer. Our lives depend on it. Mitch would never forgive me if I let them bust her up. Let's give him hell. It could have been worse. What about the gate? And, I don't know. It's as if my brain was on autopilot the whole time. We're past the worst of this storm. There's that. Someday you will have to tell me how you came to be so damned cocksure about everything. Oh, stop. The odds had us face down in the mud long past. But we beat them. We have the right to be pleased. It's just not fair. If anyone ought to believe in miracles, V, it's you. I'm doing what I can, Saul. It's not like Mitch is here. Bobby's dead. I'm, I'm by my fucking self here. Does anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. Those aren't standard issue armor. What the hell are they? <sighs> Thank you. Are you two all right? 
Inside, V. Quick. I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. Oh my. That's what I call a true wump. Mitch, is everything all right? V! Militech's throwing more armor at us! By the ton! Goddamned corpos! More company incoming! Go, V! Look to those drones! Get outside! V, help us out here! Fucking Militech is not letting up! Come on, you can't stay there forever. Please don't leave questions like that hanging. V, take care of the sentries. Silently if you can. They're dead. All dead. V, go! Move! Time is short. V, can you share your thoughts? Get your ass moving our way! Fast! Try to hit something! They certainly mean to. Stay with it, V! Don't let them get a lock! They're headed our way, V. The Militech armor. We have to intercept before it reaches the others. V, let's get you linked in. Okay, let's move. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We have to down the drones! Let's move. Time is precious. Don't just stand there. Have a seat. I know. Be ready. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damaged. So much shit has hit us already. Shoot! Shoot the bastards! Will you say something? V, get in and let's go. The Panzer V, it won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. Hmm, nothing. V, will you truly say nothing? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. What are you waiting for? Get in! We have some kind of maintenance shaft. What's this? Then isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? It wasn't your idea. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Welcome to the family. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. Screw views. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong, that everyone will- V, you don't know that. V, stop. It means they've realized what they're stepping into. We had best not keep them waiting. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. You bet your ass it is. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Checking. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Same shit, both, just go! Good work. Do you think this thing between us affects my decisions? Is that it? Do you have any idea how much that pisses me off? But this raid, these people, that's completely separate. I take full responsibility for this. Me, not you. What's between us stays between us. Worrying won't get us anywhere. I'd do it all over again, for anyone in the clan. Is everything all right? You seem quiet. Mine, it was my damned idea. I'm responsible for it. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows, so do I. Mitch, you're coming with us. Saul's right. Carol, you and Cassidy keep us secure here. No time to lose then, let's go. Okay, I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnecting. A raid is a raid. But this is still your night, so bask a bit in the newfound glory. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Enter Mitch and Carol. Can you shake him? Do you need backup? Teddy, is there any chance that he's, you know, we have to keep moving. We're almost there. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. They've been turning stones over in that area. It'll prove full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Don't you think you have? I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too then. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Saul's back. Let's go. What is it? If we look around, we'll find out. Let's take a moment. Catch our breath. Your turn, Bobby. 
Do you remember the jammer? The guards need our attention first. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. There's a nice spot up there. Quiet. I wouldn't touch that door. You see Night Corp's building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Do your thing, V. It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past him. It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. Nice of you to be a good listener. But some input would be nice, too, from you. I don't know what I would do without you. What do you know? Start your engines, folks. Is everyone up to speed? Have a look for yourself. We'll dig a tunnel. A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Go right through the gate, V! Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? Shit! We've been made! Do you feel that? As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. A first for many. Mitch probably roused them. Maybe he turned up something new. That was simple. Now's our chance. Leave the lights to me. For now, let's end this. Hell yes! It worked! You're great at hiding it. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. I'm ready. Up yours, asshole! You won't blow it open that way! Whoever's closest, deal with them! Hey, no firing at civilians! Careful! They're just workers, for Christ's sake! Let's help the others first. The gate's not going anywhere. V, watch them, all right? How are we doing, Mitch? Shit, can't you speed it up? Fan out into position and get ready. It could be worse. Let's get to her, then. I'll rip it to shreds with my bare hands if I have to. So do I. But the harder I try, the worse it gets. They can kiss our tushes. At least for now. I envy you. Fuck! How much longer up there? Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him die? Have you... I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. He's having another seizure. V, are you okay? Hey! Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Do you think this thing between us affects my decisions? Is that it? Do you have any idea how much that pisses me off? But this raid, these people, that's completely separate. I take full responsibility for this. Me, not you. What's between us stays between us. Worrying won't get us anywhere. I don't know what I would do without you. What do you know? End of discussion. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. A prison of souls? Okay. You've scared me, you know that. Jesus, you really do look terrible. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Hey. Oh. V? Do you know what time it is? So tell me. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Stop whimpering like a dying coyote and spit it out. I'm glad to hear that. Fuck, what? Ready to talk? Okay, what's going on? Hmm. <laughs> he picked an interesting hour for it. V? Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? What? You know, fine. Fuck off. Make up your mind. Hmm. Hey. Do you know what time it is? What is it? Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Okay. Then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. Sorry, what? Where are you? 
The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. But can you hold off on dying for a bit? Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. End of discussion. You scared me, you know that. We're here to help, okay? Hey. <sighs> so tell me. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to talk? Okay, what's going on? Hmm. <laughs> you picked an interesting hour for it. V? Oh, am I? Thank you for the damn update. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? What? You know, fine. Fuck off. Make up your mind. Hmm. Hey. Do you know what time it is? What is it? Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. I never knew an ox more stubborn, who'd follow family into fire, and in the end did exactly that. You don't look too strong. Come on, lean on me. I cannot believe we did it. It can't be much further, can it? I'm going to miss that constant bickering, the unending fights. Just be yourself. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Go on, jack in. Someone save me. You've changed. Let's finish this. Fucking smash this Borg freak. No, it's not. Hey. Wow, it's been a while since I heard that voice. You've got some nerve. I'm in the middle of a meeting with Mitch. He wants me to hang up. He's signaling wildly. Oh, I spoke with Victor. So please stop acting surprised. Where the hell are you? You piece of shit. You're lucky we're not face to face. Seriously. Where are you? To you and your venerable mother. So leave the shithole. Come home. Ugh, fuck, enough! Just stop pissing me off. Return to Earth now, before they hurt you. It's good to hear yours too, idiot. Now come home. No is a nice word. Beautiful sometimes. You should use it more often. Like I could give a shit which one. You're in trouble. Again. Alone. You could have asked for help. He says hello. Sorry, Mitch is about to blow a fuse. I'll have to call you back. You've got some nerve. Oh, I spoke with Victor, so please stop acting surprised. Where the hell are you? You piece of shit, you're lucky we're not face to face. Seriously, where are you? Ugh, fuck, enough. Just stop pissing me off. Return to Earth now, before they hurt you. It's good to hear yours too, idiot. Now come home. Like I could give a shit which one. You're in trouble. Again. Alone. You could have asked for help. Let's ride. You ready? Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? The nitro is ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Besides, you'll come to understand it once we're on the other side. You'll see. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well? What? He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses, toughened, made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. But we know a road less traveled. They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. V, they'll get you if you stray too wide. Stay close to the others. To bite it now would be plain stupid. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? 
it's possibly your last glance at those buildings. Ah, oh, stop. It's a good plan, V. Hmm. Do you know what Saul once told me? <laughs> Truer words I've never heard. Night City chewed us up good, didn't it? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. Fuck. That is not how it was supposed to be, was it? Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. A new beginning. We know the road's like the back of our hand, and down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. Right on time, then. I just finished up. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. It's open along its entire course, and all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Come on, check in. No time to lose. Yes, and backup will mean at least a few AVs, larger beasts than the one we hunted down. I would prefer to avoid any encounter. This is rot. I've heard enough. That anyone is truly free just once, when they know they have nothing to lose. Saul once. Do you know what he told me? Saul once. Do you know what he told me? <sighs> Do you mean Makoshi? The border wall. When I was little, it wasn't there, obviously. Fuck. I just realized something. But I sensed everything was different in the North. That something great awaited me there. A bright fucking future. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. All in all, you may be right. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. Huh. Say goodbye. For a while? For good? Mitch? Get in, V. What are we waiting for? So, what happened with the cop? Fuck. I just realized something. I know, I know. Uh, uh, Saul said something once. Something wise. Now for an important bit. Geostationary satellites. They're positioned to cover the whole length of the border. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. As soon as anything larger than a coyote enters their range of vision, they trigger defense procedures. First, we'll see the Border Patrol's drones. They'll try to turn us back as if we were lost tourists. They can't touch us, do any damage, but they will sit on our butts. Are we all set? So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. There's quite a swarm. Don't try to name it. Just enjoy it. I feel the same way. Exactly what you wanted. No, it's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. Easily. It wasn't easy to find after all these years. Thankfully, it's still open. Nothing can stop us now. You never asked. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Not in as much as under. <sighs> fuck. No, no, that's a lie. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Okay, we've arrived. Well, time to move before that storm finds us. Mm-hmm, one of the oldest ones, this one too. They dug through right after the first war. Screw you. Come on, Mitch, you weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. They have pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help, you'll see. Everything is set. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear and set off. The city makes false promises. Many of them grand, doesn't it? Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. That a person, anyone, is truly free at one moment only. When they're about to die. Did you hear it somewhere? Everything is said and confirmed. 
We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. The border wall, it wasn't here when I was little. I never imagined it would be. Ha <laughs> ha, ye of little faith. Watch and learn. Ah, oh, stop. And you'd best say your goodbye to this view. You won't see the city again. A wager I'd have lost if I'd taken it. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? So you found it? Where we thought it would be? <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. For your life. Yes, I know. But I can still enjoy the view. A little longer. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. And you? After Mikoshi, whatever happened. Are you ready? You know it's likely the last time you're seeing those mega buildings. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Yes, but damn it. It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. Oh, you'll see. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the bastards' noses. Don't you know it. You would do better to think about what you'll do with all that cash. Oof, sounds tough. But how did you come to be stranded? You will miss the night city you imagined was there. The city of endless potential. Endless possibilities. The city that was a lie. What I think of you now matters not at all. So full speed straight ahead, avoid any larger craters, and try not to lose the rest of our clan, okay? I wondered if you were anything like me. Carrying within you something damn important to prove to yourself. Uh-huh. Night City. Did you think you would stay forever? V. Promise me. As soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... <sighs> whatever needs fixing. Did I say something wrong? I'm sorry, V. Of that I have no doubt. Fuck, V. You are a sweet talker, aren't you? It works. All too well. I did not know what to make of you then. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help. Do you think we'll ever find it? You heard right. We've never been caught with contraband. Fucking never, ever. Of course, our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They're my family, V. I can't abandon them. I wouldn't want to. And I'm glad I won't have to choose. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. Did a patrol notice you and pursue? You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew, you and I. Ask me then. What we were able to transport openly is on the other side already. They are indeed. So you do remember. You're coming with us. And then, we will see. I have it all planned out. We'll discuss the details once we arrive. Not much of anything, it seems. What? All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Yes. And you know the tale's end, too. That anyone is truly free just once. When they know they have nothing to lose. Do you know what Saul told me once? Saul. Once. Do you know what he told me? Oh. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. Fuck. I just realized something. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. V, I was there with you, at Mikoshi. Do you think me blind to what's happening? I've lost so many friends. Do you think I've no fear of losing you? Know what? To see Carrie Uridine looking lost in the middle of nowhere. That was truly a sight. 
Fuck. I'm sorry. The border wall, it wasn't here when I was little. I never imagined it would be. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Shut up, V. Don't ruin the moment. Fuck, V. You are a sweet talker, aren't you? It works. All too well. They're my family, V. I can't abandon them. I wouldn't want to. And I'm glad I won't have to choose. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. You're coming with us. And then, we will see. That was not how it was supposed to go, was it? To hell with that palace. V, I... I didn't want to wake you. Go on. They're waiting. Counting on you. Fingers crossed. Toes too. I know one thing. This fucking city. I will not miss it. I really can't understand it. After all that happened in Makoshi, you feel no need to leave this shithole? Just leave. Run and never look back. Run away with me. No, I'm not okay. Nothing's okay. Fuck. I need air. I will remember V. Always. And promise me one thing. That you will not lose your way. Not in the final stretch. Nomads say all sorts of shit. I'll tell you. Someday. Somewhere. If our roads meet again. Night City is a cancer. Just look what it's done to you. It would be a few months among people you care about. People who care about you. Unless... Unless that's your point. You think the end could be easier? If you were alone? I know this, V. Tomorrow I will be gone. We're breaking camp. We'll leave at dawn. Well, you know I always set my radio to Stanley. Will I hear about you? Fuck, you think I don't know that? We've talked about- Fuck. Do the damn job. Show this fucking city who's boss. And realize, finally, that it was never about one last mission. You just don't know any other way. Damn right you will. I should go too. Take care, V. And good luck. So what? You also have everyone at the afterlife eating out of your hand. You don't need any more jobs. You have it all. Shit. Just open your eyes. You better fucking believe I don't. Everything you do here will be dust swept away by whoever comes after you. Fuck. I so detest goodbyes. You will have finally proven to yourself that you're the best. Something everyone else knows. And you will see how you're addicted to the thought. Until next time. Somewhere. Someday. I can't. They are my clan. My family. My responsibility. And yet you ask me to choose. Why, V? For what? No! Fucking listen to yourself! I know what's happening to you, what happened in Makoshi, but- I understand. I think. Will fame be any comfort when you die here alone? Some yes marks from the afterlife at your side? The- I- I will be gone tomorrow. There will be no more us. Do you understand that? Oh, it's a great fucking story. But a long one. Many twists and turns. Hey, hop on in. To hell with that palace. V- I- I didn't want to wake you. Go on. They're waiting. Counting on you. Fingers crossed. Toes too. I know one thing. This fucking city. I will not miss it. I really can't understand it. After all that happened in Makoshi- you feel no need to leave this shithole? Just leave. Run and never look back. Run away with me. No, I'm not okay. Nothing's okay. Fuck. I need air. I will remember V. Always. And promise me one thing. That you will not lose your way. Not in the final stretch. Nomads say all sorts of shit. I'll tell you. Someday, somewhere, if our roads meet again. Night City is a cancer. Just look what it's done to you. 
It would be a few months among people you care about. People who care about you. Unless, unless that's your point. You think the end could be easier? If you were alone? I know this, V. Tomorrow I will be gone. We're breaking camp. We'll leave at dawn. Well, you know I always set my radio to Stanley. Will I hear about you? Fuck, you think I don't know that? We've talked about- Fuck. Do the damn job. Show this fucking city who's boss. And realize, finally, that it was never about one last mission. You just don't know any other way. Mm. <sighs> damn right you will. I should go too. Take care, V. And good luck. So what? You also have everyone at the afterlife eating out of your hand. You don't need any more jobs. You have it all. Shit. Just open your eyes. You better fucking believe I don't. Everything you do here will be dust swept away by whoever comes after you. Fuck. I so detest goodbyes. You will have finally proven to yourself that you're the best. Something everyone else knows. And you will see how you're addicted to the thought. Until next time. Somewhere. Someday. But no. You are blind to it. I can't. They are my clan. My family. My responsibility. And yet you ask me to choose. Why, V? For what? No. Fucking listen to yourself. I know what's happening to you, what happened in Makoshi, but- I understand, I think. Will fame be any comfort when you die here alone? Some yes marks from the afterlife at your side? V, I- I will be gone tomorrow. There will be no more us. Do you understand that? Oh, it's a great fucking story. But a long one. Many twists and turns. Hey. Hop on in. I don't know anything anymore, V. And hey, you'd be right. But I just want to be true to myself and figure out what I want. And what I'm scared of. What is this, a therapy session? Should I find a couch to go lie down on, doctor? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietors stick into that version. So we're covered for now. About what? I know, but... Well, all right, you're about to tell me that no family's perfect. <laughs> Stuff it, V. I just need time, that's all. Mm-hmm. Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Part of me just wants to drive down the open highway and never look back. Part of me wants to stay. But being in the same room with Saul... Even if you were right, what of it? Believe me, I know what the problem is, just not how to solve it. Not yet. It's going. Knock on wood. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. Well, what's up, V? Talk soon, V. Depends on what the it is. And what you want to hear. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. The basement probably has a quick way out. Find it. Damn it! That is one hell of a storm! Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. Hijacking a petrochem tanker, opening the valves, cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show. That's the Saul I remember. Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? If we're to do this, it's now or never. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Now get yourselves out of there. I know, get out of the building, I'll be right there. That does sound like Saul. The cavalry's about to arrive! Good. Grab him and get out of there. I can confirm. There is no movement in the compound. I'll pull up to collect you shortly. Be careful down there. Vermin could still crawl out of some hole. 
Are you ready? Decent? That's a roof ripper from hell. We have to get this done before she hits us. Hop out and let's get to work. I'll cover you from that perch. You find Saul and get him out of there. Damn it, too late to abort now. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. Keep looking, V. Maybe, just maybe we're not too late. That should be their garage. It's heavily guarded. I know. It's just... Fucking Raffins. Soulless filth. There's no line they won't cross. None. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. The brick brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. Exactly. V, it's good you're here. There's a butt attached to that. I might have guessed. There never is anything free with you statics. Fine. I will give you one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. That's hard to deny. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. The wraiths took Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know, whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. Say hello to your guardian rifle. We'll meet up after. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Find Saul and you two get out of there. A good way to get to the garage. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Fuck, let's finish this. Do your thing. The Ingalls farm? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. It'll just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. Can you come? Will you? At Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. This is just not suitable for a call, V. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. All yours. Compliments of the Caldos. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Sol. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Ugh, oh, yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. <sighs> you will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Hey, we got it! It's cozier already! Someone has to. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. V, will you ride with me? So that should be everything. Either way, it'll have to do. Ignore that. Someone has to. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. I would settle for a soft pillow. <sighs> Do you see the tracks? The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? Decommission the bastards! Going off-road, this'll be rough! You look outside lately! The storm will wipe our tracks! What? Fuck! Hey, it worked! We have lights! They nabbed him. Can we meet? <clears throat> Cut off that tail! The storm! It's going to swallow us! I know, damn it! There's an abandoned farm nearby. I'll get us there. I can't squeeze any more out of it! Woo! We got him! I... Thanks. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Yes, but... Take it for a spin if you like. You just watch yourself down there. But if things get noisy, I'll be your long-distance insurance policy. We'll be linked at all times. So as soon as you find Saul, I'll fire up the engine and we'll speed out of there. You slip into the Wraith's camp, soft as a fox. Need help? I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Today's our lucky day. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Yeah. To her boobs. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. Mm-hmm. Did you hear me talking about something else? You're talking about gangs. Maybe you're right. That is my hope. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. A few, like any family. I think so, too. 
And so it begins. Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. Well, what was that about? Thanks. What? Why? All I hear is the fucking wind. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. <laughs> if there is such a time. I'm just not like that. And remember, I'm indebted. I'm back with the clan, sure. But I have things to do. That remains so. The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. Of course they do. Hey, did you sleep all right? We don't need to talk about that. More like this. Take care of yourself. Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it, bossing folk every which way. You? Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. It's not my style, no. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Please take care of her. She served me well. One more thing. Your compensation. I know. Are you sure? So, uh, thank you. Once again. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. Um, forgot myself a bit, huh? Oh. <sighs> we can use all the help we can get. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be her guardian rifle. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land, or... You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. Ugh! Fuck off, Saul! Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. Thank you. For this and everything else. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some drivel. But I do have to grant him one thing. Come on. You're serious right now? What are you thinking? These storms are no joke. Huh, I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. Come, sit down. You've earned it. Look at that. It's cozier already. No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. <laughs> Funny. When you're on the road day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Uh, <clears throat> the... Hmm. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. And V, I am glad you came. I think that would be best. It meant a lot to me. <sighs> Do you hear that? Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. Oh, it's fine, truly. Don't let it worry you. Yeah, it's been a long day. No, just different. All right? Hit your aim to drive into that devil! Cut the crap! We'll see. <sighs> Most times, Saul spews drivel. Mongers fear. But I have to grant him this. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. Though, one thing. Solid job. A lot of useful things. The angles left in a hurry. We need to free Saul. Good. You survived once, so let's go for two. V, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. 
Do you remember Sol, the leader of the clan I left? You don't know how good it is to hear that. Perfect. These brutes will never be the wiser. You're near the primary generator. It powers the entire camp. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You might even gain access to the security system. Keep your head down and plow straight ahead. From there, you can access a footbridge leading to the main structure. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? Right here, V. Okay, you take the wheel. I know the perfect spot to roost. I'll have my eyes on you throughout. Damn it, V! So much for being sly. Okay, just don't lose your way. Time is not our friend on this. Now come here! I have a surprise for you! Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. A little power might be useful. Looks like we're in for the night. The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Generators. They might power the security systems. You might as well have ridden with me! I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Good. It'll cover our tracks. What is this, heat stroke? Get back here! Yeah, I really do. Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Good luck. Is he... We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. V, we don't have time. A storm is rolling in. How is he? Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful! We got hit! Big! I can't push it much more! I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. Damn it! We got more! Have you lost your damned mind? I'll have you covered. You find Saul and get him out of there. We'll meet up after. Doesn't matter right now. He- Well, if you change your mind, I'm at the Aldecaldo's camp. Fine. I could really use your help. Look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Swing by the Aldecaldo's camp. I'll explain it all. Holy, do you see that? So, how is he? Hurry, hop in the back. See the red dot? Mm-hmm. The power trough for the whole camp. Cut the juice and the alarm system shuts down. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time, do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Okay, let's go over the plan again. Damn it, stay out of sight! Keep your eyes peeled. I see several heavy hitters. V, it's a life and death thing. I'm serious. Okay, out. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Is everything clear? That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Okay, you're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Main gate, be ready! That's probably the one they kept Saul in. Careful, there's a sniper perched in the tower. Oh yeah, we even have a radio in here. The sniper is no longer a problem. Keep moving. Careful, you can't know what I'd wish for. I'm just not like that. We don't need to talk about that. More like this. Leave it. He has a right not to understand. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. I mean... Perhaps I did, but not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. No, I know everything I need to, I believe. You know what? I can't believe how much of a hypocrite you are. Fuck, V! How could you? Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. It seems you saw right through me. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. He humiliated me in front of the clan. He made me look like an idiot. 
And here I thought, fuck, to be so stupid. Listen, V, I... I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Okay. If you say so. I would not want to cock this up. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. And I would not want to cock this up. Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. What the fuck are you doing? Either go back now or I take the wheel. You came after all. I need a drink. And then we can piece together the basilisk. Will you come around when it's ready? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Can you feel that? It's probably not always this intense. How about this? They're here too, Saul. In full force. I regret one thing only. That we had so little time. I'll play it by ear. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Aldecaldas. Always. Thank you, V. For your help. You too. I'll let you know once we pitch camp again. When we find a new site to pitch camp, I'll be in touch. Not true. But this is nice. It will not take long. V? Is this a bad time? You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Well, watch out now. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Are you pleased? Do you know what, V? Fuck you. Oh, bullshit, V. Dumb? Messy? V, stop behaving as if you got some ketchup on my shirt. No, you cannot. Not anything more. I never want to see you again. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Oh, well, this means good night, V. What? No, come on. Cassidy, Mitch, Carol, we're all lepers. No one will talk to us. Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. What cards? An interesting day. Or did you pull some other shit thing besides ratting me out to Saul? Right, yes, thank you for your impeccable advice. Okay, let's get to work. Do you seriously not know? Yet you might have stopped there and fucked off instead of also planting a knife in my back. Okay, thank you. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? First, we'll ride to the station. Is everything clear? V? You did not. Are we going? Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Well, V? V? Excellent. Let's get going. Not a problem. Let's go. It's speeding up. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, shoot out the damn coupler. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. V, listen to me. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. So take it out. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? V, back to what we were saying. But there has to be something. Someone who can. That's why you wanted to get him. I know this area. Back from the old roots. Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. I don't know. Wait. I will go with you. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Suit yourself. To happy endings. I don't know if I could have done it without you. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. 
look at them. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, this. This could be us. Every day. Stay in camp. Join us. They could be your family. Bullshit, you don't know that. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You are not joking. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. Fuck. You can't reverse it somehow? Stop it? Fuck, you can't get it out of your head? But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Fuck, so I can see. Will you tell me what is going on? Or will we keep playing this stupid charade? I don't believe that. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Bullshit. Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? Me too. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. V, you have to tell me what is happening. Thanks. Impossible. It's not, it's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Fuck. Beer? Lemonade? The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Want me to walk with you? So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know people who... Bullshit. You don't know what it would be like this time. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. Come on, let's go. Screw you. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? V? And that, at least, we can agree on. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, no hemming and hawing. Take out that coupler. V, drink. Choose, please. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. V, talk to me. V, we have to smash them. Wonderful, isn't she? Let me show you the ropes. Well, hop inside. So, what do you think? Impressive, huh? Well, V, the card in the reader. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Well, V, will you link up? The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm, the car could use another once over. V, did you just doze off? V, hop in my car, come on. So, am I to go alone? Move it. All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Oh, yes! Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Good job. Yes, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Poor at best. But that is why we're practicing. Mitch and Bob are already connected. Carol, we need to time this well. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. We're almost there. Yes! Bastards! Die! Die already! Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? I am. But it has nothing to do with the convoy. Why are you doing this? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But, dear God, so you can see it too. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Thanks for reminding me. Right. We should drop it. V, I know I can count on you. Yes. The same wavelength, different broadcast. But no one has ever done something like this for me before. Not without a catch. Okay. But thank you, V. I'm serious. Yes. We could both stand to think about what that means. 
V, you're here. Uh-huh, that's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? So you plan to visit regularly, is that right? Dirty deals, high stakes, tit for tat. Do you mean what sort of trouble I'll land in? He would find that amusing? No, it's just... I've just returned, yet I've already forgotten what it's like in Night City. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Ah, you need another firearm. I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? I'm sure we'll find something to suit your taste. If we're thinking of the same thing, then alas, I must decline. It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. How did you know? Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. Of course not. We'll take the basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. We have arrived. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. Because I just talked your head off a minute ago. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Fuck, Mitch, you heard her. She said this is not her concern. Suit yourself. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Crop protection. Who gives a damn about crop protection? Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Thanks, V. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. So I do believe we have come full circle. I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? Okay, here we are. It worked. Come look. V, I wanted to speak with you. The engine needs to run at a steady speed. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Well done. Thanks, boys. Carol! We have a card! What now? Of course it did, just as I said it would. And, V, you shouldn't have spoken. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. Exactly what you see. The basilisk. And the basilisk? Can we put it together? So it begins. In that case, we'll leave the basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. V, the basilisk, it's ready. Fuck V, it is awesome. Sure, we'll be waiting. We need to unload. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. Okay, this will do fine. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not going to watch. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. Just put it through a few turns. Now take her along the line of turbines. But it should still be a good time. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. All right, let's rejoin the others. Left. Very good. Oh, uh, well. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. Keep her going. Bullseye. They're deader than dirt now. Okay, practice is over. Right. Good. One more time. Right. Head towards that wreck. No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Fuck you. Questions? Comments? Motions? Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Mm-hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps, all types of terrain. But the... Excellent. There's room for improvement. I've heard that one before. You're so damned busy, so important. Now save your breath. 
V, do you have a moment? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? Finally. Are you coming? The problem hasn't solved itself, nor will it. Well, I... Yes, I did, but I thought... Hello, V. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. V, any questions? The stairs it is, then. Get her up to speed. Mitch, Bob, go! Let's ride, V. Hey, V. No, not yet. Okay, V. Let's get to work. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. I have a problem. Please be sure to let me know when you're freer. Well, it uh, would be better to... Of course. I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? You know me well. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Let's find the cards first. We could still check. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Is everyone ready? I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Gee, really consoling, thanks. Hurry up! We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. Oh, fuck. They found us. We have to get back to camp. Would you help me look? Yes, we're on our way! Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel, perhaps more simply, hopeful. That is not a currency I use to pay for favors. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Indeed, they would not. He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. At times, perhaps. Jackie, I'll remember that. Would you like to drive it? And to Jackie. We can- Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! You two! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. What do you think? You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. All right, blast those wrecks. Good, now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Hmm? You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. All right, let me just say, it can be difficult at first. Mm-hmm, right, starting now. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Good, now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. I jacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Of course. I understand. I didn't want you to feel... We will stop it at the railroad crossing. We have lights. Mitch and Bob must have managed to connect. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! You had someone? Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. We'll see. No. Why? Don't you trust me? No. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. It's as if you booked a room with two beds but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. All right, I just want to check. Let's get back to camp. I still want... My, that was quick. Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. How did you weasel your way in there? I and mean, here I opened the damned door. Be right there. Is everything... It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Carol! What are we looking for? But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. You're telling me. Of course. I will prepare our route. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Are you ready? In combat, it's probably easier. Less about thinking and more about acting on instinct. In harmony. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. You'll experience feedback. Sensory echoes as our systems overlap. It's like a mystical oneness. I opened this one, so we'll call it a tie. Be right there. We didn't bother asking the others. Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. That was impressive. Yet I prefer the door. Be right there. Hold on. I will what? Perhaps. As long as you were around. You won't be steering and firing. Most likely. You should ask Carol or Cassidy. Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. I mean, perhaps I did, but not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. It seems you saw right through me. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. Listen, V, I... I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Okay, if you say so. I would not want to cock this up. I do, but I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. And I would not want to cock this up. Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. Can you feel that? It's probably not always this intense. How about this? I regret one thing only. That we had so little time. I'll let you know once we pitch camp again. Not true. But this is nice. Well, watch out now. V, do you remember what I said about impulses? Oh, well, this means... V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know... You know, this... This could be us. Every day. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Yes, the same wavelength, different broadcast. But is that all? I, sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. If we're thinking of the same thing, then alas, I must decline. Fuck, Mitch, you heard him. He said this is not his concern. That is not a currency I use to pay for favors. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. I jacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Of course. I understand. I didn't want you to feel... All right. I just want to check. Let's get back to camp. I still want... In combat, it's probably easier. Less about thinking and more about acting on instinct. In harmony. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Most likely, you should ask Carol or Cassidy. V? Hello? Are you there? <sighs> Much better. Sounds like we're smack in the middle of the storm. Ugh. Now that packs octane. It's lucky we found this farm. I just hope the power holds till morning. What a day. This way, V. Ahead of us. See them? Careful they don't see us. Take it slow. No unwanted attention. Careful, V. Christ, be careful. Jeez, are you trying to make new chooms? Keep your wits. We got cams. Eyes in the sky. Watch your step. You're just gonna leave them there? Probably best to hide that sad sack. You're mine! That all you got? Keep it quiet. Careful. Time for the festivities. That's all of them. This is getting dicey. Need to reload. Watch out! Grenade! 
Grenade incoming! Eat lead, stay dead. How's that dirt taste? Hell yeah! Quite the fireworks show. Sniper on the loose. I see a sniper. Careful! Netrunner, don't let your guard down. Watch out for the giant flying bullfrog. Oh, fuck me! An octant! Just what we needed. Jesus, couldn't find a larger caliber? Quick feet, come on. Good. We're in their blind spot again. Okay, let's keep quiet this time. Let's get them. I'm on them! Come on, V! Won't get rid of us that easily! Well, that's that. Slick moves, V. Nice work. Stay with me, V. Nasty hit you took there. V, try not to get hurt. V, over here! Could use help! Shit! Little help, V! Heads up! Reloading! Reloading! Cover me! That's how it's done! Tidy work, V! Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking right! Mighty impressive. There, I admit it. V, you better step it up before they do! Shit! You aiming at air? V, they're almost at our throats! They're about to slap us! Watch for that turret! Turret! That net runner sights are on us! Drones! Fucking drones! Knock them out of the sky! Got a mech, V! Don't underestimate it! Watch out for the mech! Their backups arrived! V, watch out for that mammoth iron! V, now! They're reloading! They stopped to reload! V? Come on, V. We have a to-do list. Our biz won't settle itself. Let's set to work. They're on their last legs! <clears throat> You're dead, bastard! <sighs> Guess that is all she wrote. Let's put a pin in it for now. There you are. Now, about earlier. V? What's gotten into you? Hi there, V. Hey, yo. Watch it, will you? Where are your manners? They will regret this. Let's get them! Sons of bitches! Shit! See you in hell! Grenade on the ground! Come on, limp dicks! Hell yeah!